And I spent the next weekend just kind of putting together an app that would look up the property when I'm in front of it and then um, connect it to like a, a service provider that'd send me some mail. And so that's how it all started. Uh, and I used that for about six months, just myself. Real Estate Investing Profits presents Profit Masters with your host, world-renowned real estate coach and investor, Corey Boatwright. Now, strap in and get ready to learn elite wealth-building investment strategies taught by six- and seven-figure house-flipping masters as they reveal their best real estate investing profit secrets to you right now. What is going on, my potty people? This is Corey Boatwright. I am your host and founder of Real Estate Investing Profit Masters and this podcast series. And I'm excited. I am so pumped. I am so jazzed. I am so excited to share this interview with you today. It is going to blow your mind. I, I really mean that. It is absolutely going to uh, set you on fire if you've never heard of this tool called Deal Machine. Deal Machine. And I tell you what, it is absolutely an incredible, incredible tool. David Letgo is our the founder of the tool, and we go through some really cool things uh, together today and ask some great questions that he is real candid with. I love the interview. I love David brought in Elise, uh, one of his customer uh, success managers, for the experience that they care so much about with the users on Deal Machine. And this is something that in our own company that we just set up a team link for. So you can actually create these bird dogs um, that go out there and find you deals. And this tool is a mobile app and it's going to be something that you'll be able to get more closings by simply driving for dollars. That has been the heart and soul behind Deal Machine, and I tell you, he's got thousands of users and mostly just from referrals. So they are on a war path. I think they have over 200 people signing up a day. Yeah, 200. So young, uh, really successful, smart young man that uh, also just joined our uh, mastermind, Collective Genius. And I'm super pumped to have him part of the family. And I'm, I'm just so Excited to bring this interview to you today. I know you're going to love it. It's one of my favorites. So make sure that you are ready to take notes. Also, download the Ultimate Real Estate Investing Quick Start Guide by texting the word PROFIT to 38470. That's PROFIT to 38470, and it will automatically be sent to your phone or wherever that you typed it in. If you're on your browser and you got one of those fancy tools, you can text from there too. All right. Also, if you're interested in wholesaling coaching, I'd love to have a conversation with you. See if we're the right fit. We do over 100 of those a year. I'm super excited about how we develop that. And again, Deal Machine is going to be one of the tools that we start to really utilize a lot more to uh, bump that number. So go to Corey's Coaching, C-O-R-Y-S, coaching.com. There's a little two-minute video in there. I'll ask you a couple of questions, see if we're the right fit. All right. Here's Mr. David Letgo and Deal Machine, and you're going to love this interview. All right, David, what's going on, my man? Hey, Corey, glad to be here. Hey, I'm excited you're here too. Man, uh, this is going to be an exciting interview. We get to talk about Deal Machine. Uh, we get to talk a little bit about what the story, how that happened. And I'm excited to learn uh, about that. And I'm also excited to learn more about you. I know you just recently joined uh, the same mastermind collective genius I've been in for almost 10 years now, an incredible group. And I'm super excited to, uh, to have you and the family there. I'm excited to be here. Absolutely. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Well, why don't you uh, roll into a little bit of who you are and um, what's kind of your ideal client for Deal Machine? Absolutely. So... Uh, my name is David Lecco, and uh, I studied electrical engineering, did some traditional software jobs after college. And in my mid-20s, you know, I, I'd always been saving a lot of money because I wanted to retire uh, earlier than 60. And I, I got into Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and then I found out about rental properties. And so the whole reason I got interested in real estate was because I was trying to get a rental property. 
And along the way, I, I, you know, I was driving for dollars. I had a lot of follow through trouble and I did have like a breaking point of frustration that, that led me to make deal machine, but it was just for me originally. It wasn't meant to be like a business or anything like that. And, um, I do have five rentals now, but also deal machine has grown quite a bit. So I, uh, I ended up quitting my job and working on deal machine, man. Uh, so I want to hear about the challenge cause I think everyone learns a lot through adversity. I think some of our mm-hmm. biggest uh, lessons come from uh, pain. <laughs> yeah. You, know, you embrace pain uh, and uh, learn from it. Sometimes it's hard, <laughs> but you mentioned that. So you mentioned uh, you had some big challenge. You had a breaking point. One of the things I like to talk about is that breaking point. I know a lot of entrepreneurs kind of get to that place where it's like, I can't take it anymore. I got to do something different. Um, so why don't we just roll into that? What was a breaking point for you on uh, your journey with um, uh, up to this point of deal machine, creating deal machine? Yeah, absolutely. So like I said, I was driving around looking for properties, just getting into real estate. And I, I, I heard driving for dollars was a great way to do that because you've got time when you're starting out, you've got time to go drive instead of having to spend thousands of dollars to send a lot of direct mail to find a deal. Right. And so I had written down about 40 addresses at the time on a couple of different driving sessions. And um, the breaking point was I saw this house that I drove by three weeks earlier and there was a construction crew out there. And I was like, Oh man, I, I looked down and I hadn't even sent out my mail yet. And, and that's when I realized I'm wasting my time unless I can send out, you know, contact to these houses that I'm finding right away. Right. And so I, I went home and I started looking up the addresses and I was printing out my own mail cause I only had 40. So I didn't really have like a good, I couldn't find a good solution to send out just 40. So yeah. I print my own mail and uh, it just took a long time and I couldn't read my handwriting on some of those deals that I wrote down. And I also had pictures of each house. I was trying to put that on the envelope so that way they'd open it. You know, I wanted it to be really personal, but then I, I couldn't pair up the right picture with the right address too. So it just became very time consuming. And I spent the next weekend just kind of putting together an app that would look up the property when I'm in front of it and then um, connect it to like a, a service provider that send me some mail. And so that's how it all started. Uh, and I used that for about six months, just myself. Okay, great. So really that's talking about real time, right? So you couldn't yeah. find something like in real time that was uh, going to provide a result for you. So you had a, you had a breaking point then of like, uh, how do I, I, it doesn't exist. So I'll just, I'll just make it right. I'll just create it. Yeah. Well, I had the software background. So it was not too hard to just whip up something. It didn't look very good, right? It wasn't something I could show. Yeah, it didn't look good. It wasn't easy to use, but yeah. I knew how to use it. And right. it was going to do it just, just very utilitarian. And uh, it would take care of what I needed to do. Yeah, it's funny. Like um, anybody with like, like tech background, it's like, oh, you just do this and this and this and this and this. And it's, it's no big deal, right? And then everybody's right. like, I am never going to use that tool ever, right? That's right. Because uh, it, it goes into too many um, too many button pushes and, and too many challenges. But for tech guys, I know we like to uh, to to uh, make things more complicated. But that's not the case with Deal Machine. You actually made it very very simple. And I want to mm-hmm. talk about that. Why don't you uh, kind of talk about what Deal Machine really does? Um, it's an application for a mobile device, which is fantastic because I think more people are definitely using their their phones. Uh, now for not just uh, looking up things online, but you know, for all kinds of tools, especially utility tools uh, on our mobile apps. And right. I think uh, I was reading some stat the other day where it's like some, most of the millennials these days are looking at texting as almost being a better form of communication than actually calling and talking to people. Mm-hmm. Um, so just mobile being, you know, obviously being the big uh, explosion, you capitalizing uh, on that. So let's talk about what uh, Deal Machine is and what it does and what it doesn't do. Because I think that's important to, uh, to distinguish as well. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, I, I basically made this app and then after six months or so, some friends wanted to use it too. So I was like, all right, I'll throw it on the app store. And then people started to find it because I had the keyword in there of driving for dollars. And you know, and every, every person who signed up, I had to do like a 30 to 60 minute onboarding call. I was like, this is how this works. This is how this works. And 
you know, it was very hands on from the very beginning. And now, you know, of course we can't do that. We, we have about 200 people that sign up a day, um, great, man. In, including the people that are, are investors plus, you know, Uber drivers and other people that are signing up underneath them um, to look for properties for them. That's um, but the, the, we really just um, wanted to keep the app very simple. And all it does is you just pin a property. If it looks distressed, we tell you who owns it. And then you can send a postcard or you can do an instant like skip trace and get their phone number and email. So you can contact them in one or many ways, just right there. And you don't forget about it. Yeah, it's instant. That's one of the things that even you showed me uh, when, I mean, you were so excited to show the application and how fast it was, right? Yeah. Just, and I think speed is one of the, the biggest advantages of with, with mobile apps that are going to be around because we, we are, we almost want things in this fast food generation, right? We want mm -hmm. things so quick. We want it now, want it real time. Even your motivation in the beginning to begin to create deal machine was, uh, really a big factor with speed, right? So, what mm -hmm. does the app really do? Um, you get a pin. Um, you get a pin of property. You can immediately see uh, the the owner's information pulling from what the county website. Yeah, all that data is from the county, so we're just bringing that in. Yep, and then the phone numbers come in from another third party's uh, service that you work with, or do you got, you got in house right. skip, skip tracing? It, no, it's a third party service provider that we work with. We work with with a few different ones that come into the app. Okay. And are those, um, sometimes, uh, when businesses own, um, you know, properties are owned by businesses, what do you also, can you pull in the phone number from that or is that sometimes, uh, not available to, to pull in? We don't, yeah, we don't look up the phone numbers for the LLCs. This would be the individual owners that we right. can do that. for. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And is there, it works all over the United States. Yeah, it works anywhere in the United States. Even we've got some users in Hawaii. That's awesome. That's awesome. I wanna I wanna use the app in Hawaii. I love Hawaii. Uh, it's one of my favorite places in the world to to go, especially especially Maui. I want to find a house that's distressed in Maui, and hopefully that no one is uh, is is thinking it's gonna sell for millions and millions of dollars. <laughs> yeah. Well, I figured I need to go visit our our members down there because you know they're. I feel like they'd appreciate that. And I've never been to Hawaii. Oh, you have to go. You have to go. Maui's my, uh, if you go, make sure you visit uh, Kauai, which is the one of the wettest places on earth. It actually rains there, I think, every few, every like hour or something. It rains there a lot. Um, wow. But it's like a light rain, like 15 minute okay. rain. And it's done. Uh, and then Maui is not as congested as Oahu and a lot of these other big, like the, uh, the tourist islands. So, uh, definitely put those two on your list, Maui and Kauai, man, you'll, uh, you'll dig it. I think you should do a road tour, David. That would be cool. Right. The, the deal machine road tour. You could actually yeah, speak, speak at the great. Maui uh, real estate investor meeting. If yeah. there is one. <laughs> I go into the meeting. Hey, I got to write it off. It's part of my job. That's, That's awesome. right. That's awesome, man. So how, how's, what's the team look like uh, with Deal Machine? It's not just a one-man show, obviously. And I just met Elise, which was, she's awesome. But uh, yep. what, how's the team look? So right now we've got six full-time people in the United States. And then we've got three others um, that work in the Philippines. And okay. they help us with support, certain support uh, aspects of the business. And their job titles break down. We've got three people who are full-time that focus on developing software. And then we've got Elise that, that focuses on um, customer success, proactively making sure everyone's having a great experience and being successful. That's great. And then we've got Josh on our team. He's technically VP of sales. He spends most of his time coaching and training our bigger investors on the best practices for building a, a driving team with like Uber drivers and other folks driving for you. And then, you like I said, go ahead. Uh, I was just going to wrap up by saying we, the three people in the Philippines mainly help us with support. Great, great. Do you have any, and so, I mean, that's a powerful team. I mean, you're all about like lean and mean, right? Uh, which is yeah, it's, killer. We're, we need to make some more hires. We, we are uh, actively looking for another senior developer to join our team. As well as I think we are, we're ready for like a full-time media person who's, who can do video editing and do graphic design. So 
we, we produce like a new video on YouTube every day is our goal, but it's, it's, uh, we're about ready for a full timer. And I think that a full time media person is going to can probably take you to another level. I've seen, um, how much a videographer and it's somebody that can travel with you, be there with you, catching candid moments, even traveling to your users, um, traveling and having them be filmed and what they're doing, how they're using it. Um, all of this can make a very powerful impact for uh, people visualizing, um, not just hearing about what Deal Machine can do for, for their business when they actually, mm -hmm. like you talk about these stories that from the users and what their experiences are, that's so valuable. And I think that you're right at uh, 200 uh, new, new uh, signups a day. I, I think that the budget would probably uh, allow a full-time videographer if I was going to guess. Yep. I think it's going to really improve what we're able to, to produce. And we're, we're always trying to educate everyone who's using deal machine. We're trying to get out from behind our computers and that's going to make it a lot easier to do that. That's great. Speaking of that, um, the whole mastermind concept um, has been such a beautiful thing to to be a part of with Collective Genius, and I've, I've seen other uh, groups create them. Have you also thought about creating maybe a mastermind just for your users, or has that is that something that uh, you have already uh, put in place? I think it's a really cool idea. The way we've talked about it is having a like a user conference, like yeah. you see software companies do. And we have not done that yet. We're actually going to do our first meeting in person in Indianapolis next month as kind of like a test to see if we're up for the challenge of hosting an event, which I know is not an easy thing to do. Right. Yeah. Event coordinator. But I think right. We, we love every opportunity to meet, you know, our members in person. And that goes such a long way, I think, when you have a face-to-face -face conversation or meeting at least one time. Well, it's a dying, it's a dying thing happening right now, right? We only see each other through the lens, right? Yeah. We, most people right. meet each other through Instagram now and have better relationships sometimes than uh, on Facebook and things like that. So yeah, actually meeting people uh, in person is is a dying thing, and so I think it's a it's it'd be great to uh, make a deeper connection with uh, with your users. That's awesome. Yeah, we're really looking forward to that event in July. That's awesome, man. Okay, so. We know a little bit about Deal Machine. Um, we know about the users. We know about what's, how the kind of growth is happening right now, which it sounds like is just continuing to grow. Uh, is the marketing elements behind that? Uh, are you marketing on YouTube? Are you marketing on it? something you do a video every day? Um, are you doing pay-per-click? Are you doing, um, you know, uh, on Facebook? Or where's kind of uh, people coming in from? Where's those, those entry points that you, you're finding? I know referrals have to be huge. Yeah. Yeah, word of mouth is the biggest by far. Awesome. And yeah, and so, I mean, that's definitely the biggest thing by far. That's why I think it's, it's so powerful to be on your, your podcast as well, because the people that listen to you trust you. And, you know, if, you're, if you've used Deal Machine and it's helped you, that's going to be great. Um, they're going to come in and be really good members for us. We do some pay-per-click. We do some Facebook marketing, but we do it because we feel like we just kind of have to. But I... It, it, it's not like a huge growth driver for us, unfortunately. Uh, we, we really probably get the most benefit from retargeting when, when somebody hears about us or, or views us um, and then they see something else or another piece of content um, that we're putting out there. So that's, that's really what we do um, in terms of marketing. That's, it's not too crazy. And uh, we've just been really fortunate that people have wanted to talk about Deal Machine themselves. I love it, man. I, I'm excited that I see this. I see you're going to be growing really, really fast, man. Maybe this like hockey stick type growth, uh, which would be, which would be awesome, man. That's when everybody just like goes crazy uh, when they find out about. So it just sounds like more people need to know about Deal Machine and, mm -hmm. um, and, and what it can do. I want to ask you a couple other questions, um, kind of moving on a little bit now. Sure. There's some new folks that get started with real estate investing. You're a real estate investor too. You shared openly that you have uh, five rental properties right now. I believe. I do. Yes. Yeah. And I and, love them. Yeah. <laughs> so they're always fun. That's always so fun for me. Um, and it's how it all started. So I love doing that. I saw a video the, the other day, where, like you walking through the house with your contractor and like showing the floors. That was uh, 
That's pretty cool. Uh, what, what, what's some advice that you give some new folks, you know, just getting started? Um, yeah, that would be good I, to pass that on. The biggest, the biggest advice is to stay focused and plan out your marketing before you do anything. So often I hear new people say, Hey, deal machine didn't work. We look at their account with them and they've added 20 properties. And so whether you're using deal machine or not, I think it's really good to ask and figure out, well, how many properties or how much of cold calls do I need to make you think to get a, a deal? And then maybe times that by two and just plan on doing it. And so that way you can really fully test out something before walking away and trying 40 things only halfway. Do you have some of those metrics in place? Like, um, have you, can we do. Yeah. Well, we always kind of paid attention to when these, these testimonials would come in. And so based on that, we kind of eventually started saying, Hey, it takes at least finding 200 homes and sending mail to them at least three times. Okay. And so for somebody who's never done this before, it's really helpful to at least get a bearing about what they should be going after and what goals they should have. That's great. Yeah. At least I have some numbers um, there. So that's, mm -hmm. that's really good. And then from some that's people are probably just getting started. Other people are more aggressive. I mean, I'm sure that those numbers that's right. are down quite a bit. What's really, really cool about real estate investors is if it's somebody who has done deals before, typically the response is like, Hey, I'll, I'll, I'll spend a thousand dollars at least to try any new marketing method. And so they get that. They get the fact that you're, they're planning out in advance what they're going to do in order to do a test. And so that, that's very easy for us because everybody seems to have that mentality, which I think is great as a business owner. What's your favorite motivational quote uh, or, or maybe inspirational quote? Whew. I, uh, I got a really big quote queen back here. <laughs> she, <laughs> she's a quote queen? Quote. Yeah, she is. <laughs> what? At least my, I think I'd like you to chime in and, and give us one that you really like. Cause she, she just always is, is laying on the motivation, you know, for me and our team. And she does that for us as That's well awesome. as our members. Yeah. She's optimistic. Here, She's the positive optimistic. I am the affirmations guru. You're the affirmations. I even, for our users, I give them affirmations on certain days. Wow. Because I think you need to have that constant motivation. One of my favorite quotes is, I'm going to give you a couple here, but Zig Ziglar says, you know, um, it's like, you know, we, we don't have to bathe daily, but we do. So it's the same thing with motivation. I did that very ad lib, but it's like the same thing with motivation. You do need it daily. Sure. Um, so my favorite one though, um, especially because I'm part of, I'm customer success and I, I want their experience to be good, but I tell our um, customer service people, it's people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. I love that's that. Wonderful. My Angelo. So that's like my, I have it posted here in my, on the board. I have it as my screensaver. And also I, we do motivation like every day mm -hmm. for every Monday. I drop a motivational quote in our Facebook group. Like yeah. So he's getting, he's getting a ton of them. So, so when you said that, I right. was like, which one are you going to pick? <laughs> so, yeah, I'm really bad at remembering specific ones, but I, I, I bathe daily in it. You know, I, I get the quote and that, it, it does help me. And um, I'm really glad you're here to step in and do that. Right. That's, that's awesome, man. There's so many good ones and that's, that's a, that's a actual, that's a great one. Also, you know, it goes deeper than just a utility. You can tell with your company. I mean, you really care about what people's experiences are. And that has a lot to mm -hmm. do with how they feel about the product, how they feel about using, um, using the service. And that's awesome, man. Uh, do you have any books that you recommend? And uh, maybe one that's really made an impact in your life? Yeah. Well, I really like this author. I think his name is Mike Michaelowitz. He wrote Profit First. And he also wrote The Pumpkin Plan. Yes. And both of those books um, have just laid out like a real simple way to um, make sure that you are enjoying your business, that you're setting up your business in such a way it's not adding stress to your life. Um, I, I feel like with Profit First, a lot of the issue is like these entrepreneurs will um, invest absolutely everything back into the business continually, and they're running the business in a way that requires their time a hundred percent. And so what they end up doing is sacrificing their personal relationships. Um, they, they sacrifice their sleep and their health. And it's, 
and it's, and they, they tell themselves it's okay because it's all about, it's all for the business. But you know, he, he really changed my mind and my life in terms of, um, you know, you've, you've kind of got to be the CEO of you and you've got to make sure you're getting enough sleep, make sure you're working out. Um, but his profit first kind of helps you structure your business financially so that you are kind of ensuring you've, you've got the funds you need to live rather than just throwing everything, feeling like you need to throw everything back into the business all the time. Uh, and then the pumpkin plan, it's, it's kind of cool because he, uh, he basically gives you all these lessons for growing a great business based on pumpkin farmers. And, uh, the way they grow these gigantic pumpkins at the fair is they actually, um, they'll plant a ton of seeds and then the very biggest one they'll focus all their energy on and they'll literally kill off all the rest. And so in your business, it's like figure out what is that, that biggest opportunity and then don't focus, don't do anything else. So like deal machine, we don't do websites. We don't do, you know, list pulling. We don't do bulk mail sends. Like we, we just really, really focus on driving for dollars. So that's how we implemented that. That's great, man. Focus in general has just radically changed most of the successful business owners lives that I know. Um, and so, it, and it's hard, it's such a difficult thing for, uh, entrepreneurs, uh, with shiny object syndrome, because it is so easy to want to be pulled left and right and mm -hmm. not, go, not go forward, not stay in a straight line because staying in a straight line, let's be really candid is boring. It is boring, 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 but you have to rechange your mindset, um, which is boring e equals boring equals the most successful businesses in the world. So you better get very excited about being bored. I know that sounds really strange, but if you don't get excited about being bored with um, systems and processes, things that are staying the mm -hmm. same, things that are predictable, right? Then you really uh, are going to have a struggle being uh, in business. That doesn't mean that you can't enjoy your business and love it but you have to create some duplicatable systems and processes. And mm -hmm. you know, for entrepreneurs, we just get bored. I want to go start off all these new things. want to go, you know, do all these different methods. And quite frankly, being in that space too, um, and working with a lot of entrepreneurs, David, that is one of the biggest challenges, even as on, on a coach side that you deal with, with entrepreneurs, uh, much less with a SaaS company, but with coaches, I mean, with students, you know, they want to go and do notes. They want to go and do fix and flips. They want to go and do subject They want to go and do mm -hmm. land. They want to go and do all these other things, right? And instead of just choosing one thing and going mm -hmm. all in on that, um, it's, it's boring. But that's the most successful way to, to you know, have longevity in, in your business. That's right. And I think my personal take on all those exit strategies is that those are excellent ways to expand your business when you're at this point where it is like running like a machine and doesn't need you anymore, you know, then you've got the time to go figure out notes and then you've got the time to go figure out seller financing and that type of stuff. Yeah. You hit on a, a, a really uh, interesting point there. When you have the time where the business doesn't need you to, to kind of work on a day to day, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's the piece that is so extremely difficult for, um, for entrepreneurs to get away from even, the one man show, especially, you know, um, yeah. depending, we all kind of start there, but that's not where you want to, of course you want to start, you know, you want to build it and learn and delegate. I think some of the challenges is letting go of control. Can you, can you speak to that just a little bit, David, have you had a challenge of letting go of control? Um, and if you have, yeah. how, how have you gotten yeah. out of that mindset to be successful? Absolutely. So when we started, you know, I'm, I'm a software developer. So letting, letting control, of developing the software was very difficult for me because I started it, you know, I did it originally. And so eventually, you know, I had to let control go to my partner. So he, he knows the system so well now, and I haven't developed any of the software side in quite some time. Um, and the way I got there was actually, we, we worked with a coach that was E-Myth certified. There's this book called the E-Myth and it helps I mean, more or less people let go. And so that's really, really key to growing your business because if I'm developing the software, then who is growing, um, you know, who, who's getting to meet like you at collective genius. 
and, and doing other things that are going to be really, really good for our business. And, and so <clears throat> I'm trying to, okay. So like the very practical thing that, that came from that coaching was like, write down every second, every minute of your day, what are you doing? And so if we would have these whole days where I was like, well, I, um, I did, uh, I, I paid the bills. I, I worked on the, the, the technology. Um, and I, those are all things that are like somebody else could be doing those. And so obviously when you're starting, you've got to spend time like getting in the dirt and doing the work. But, um, she kind of forced us to reserve time for planning on like, what is your mission planning? Like what's your values? And so those are things that like you create once and then they allow other people to work in your business in that framework, the way you'd want them to work, you know? So like they actually call that working, working on the business instead of in the business. And so, so she always encouraged us to spend a portion of our day working on the business um, and creating those systems that would allow others to eventually come in and work uh, and do that work. The E-Myth is an incredible book. If you haven't read it, um, those that are listening right now, you're listening, just I encourage you to read it. E-Myth Revisited by Michael Gerber, just a revolutionary book. I think for many business owners, uh, they would even say it's in their top five favorite books they've ever uh, mm -hmm. went through, uh, much less going through an um, E-Myth certified coach or mentor uh, program. I think that I, ca I can't imagine the uh, 10x factor that um, could come, come from that. And you, you mentioned something uh, that I think is, is great. Uh, and it's funny because as you're talking, I, uh, we, we also do a, when I work with other folks, I do this thing called the $10,000 an hour activity, David. So basically yes. there's a $10 an hour, $100 an hour, $1,000 an hour, and $10,000 an hour thinking. That's a lot right? of money a lot of money. Yeah. Um, the concept is write down a full week. It's not, we, we took a full week um, and write down every hour when you get up uh, related to business because you can't, you know, time when your family is, your, you know, it's invaluable. Um, mm -hmm. But anytime you're doing something with business, uh, write down every hour uh, on your uh, calendar that reminds you, like send a reminder that says, what did you do this last hour? What did you do this last hour? What did you do? So from, from Monday to Sunday, basically a whole week. And then after that happens at the end of the day, go in and grade that thing that you did. Was it worth, would you pay someone, you know, if they had to come to your house and they wanted payment, would they, would they want $10 an hour, $100 an hour, $1,000 or $10,000 an hour uh, for, for doing that thing? Mm -hmm. And as you probably know how the story goes, most of the things that we do are in the $10 to $100 an hour activity, right? Mm -hmm. And not to say that those things are any less important um, for, uh, for the purpose of, 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 of getting the things accomplished, but like you said, there's other things as a business owner and a visionary, uh, depending on if you're an integrator or a visionary, that you're looking at using the gifts and talents that you have, God's given you to be able to grow the business and work on the business, not in the business. And yeah. I would even say most of the 10 to hundred dollar hour activities as a business owner are a lot of the things that you can be delegating to someone else that would absolutely love to do them. Absolutely make their day because I do not believe that every person should be an entrepreneur. I used to think that, but I don't believe that anymore because right. I, yeah. Not, not everybody wants the same things. Not, that not you everybody do. wants those same things. And, and quite frankly, the, there is no floor and there is no ceiling. And sometimes that's just not the, it's hard to deal in that kind of situation, uh, being an mm -hmm. entrepreneur because you're building and you're, you're creating in, in those things. However, uh, the point of that exercise is very powerful because some people say, well, what's a $10,000 an hour activity? Well, quite frankly, it could be something right now that we're doing. Quite frankly, it could be building that relationship and, and finding ways to have synergy where mm -hmm. uh, one conversation could unlock something be huge. One, um, uh, one tool that's mentioned could save hundreds of thousands of dollars in development or whatever. And so those kind of things are in joint ventures, things like that. Those are $10,000 hour activities. Uh, but mm -hmm. we, it, we tend to stay into the weeds, right? That's the whole point. Yeah. I love the fact that you 
have went through that to work on the business, not in the business. It's, it's, a, it's a real mature thing. Yeah. And then for those of you guys who have like a business partner, the, uh, the thing I didn't expect was having a third party work with you and your partner can really bring you on the same page on a lot of things. Because um, I mean, we always have gotten along well, but the reality is you're two separate people. So there's bound to be something you, you will disagree on. And so we, we only worked with the e coach for like three, I think four months before we felt like we kind of outgrew it. But in those early stages, it was super key, I think, to, to getting us on the same page with, and making us think about what we wanted long-term. Absolutely. And you know, what's going to happen at some point if, if you guys want to go your separate ways, you know, is there a buyout? I mean, mm -hmm. talk to business owners now, let's get real. Is there a buyout clause? If somebody gets hurt, gosh, what if, what if one of you die? I mean, those kind of conversations as you start building a business are rough conversations, but it's best to have those conversations now, not later. It's best to talk about some of those things now um, and, and get some of those things uh, resolved and not hide in the dark about them because as, as a That's business, right. you're going to have challenges. And like you said, you're two different people. You're going to have different ideas. Um, so I think it's great that you've been proactive on it. Thanks. Yeah. I mean, when you're disagreeing on something, you're not going to be at your best and you want to, you want to come to those agreements when you're at your best. Love that. <clears throat> Do you have any favorite mobile apps besides the obvious one uh, that you use in your business every day? Yeah. Let me pull this up real quick. Um, trying to think of a few. I spend I mean, a lot of time in uh, Instagram. That's like a, connect, a way to connect. I think a lot of people are on that that are doing real estate. And that's like a fun way to connect with our, uh, our members. Um, we always like reshare their stories when they post about deal machine, which is fun. That's cool. Um, let's see. I don't have any too, uh, too many crazy uh, mobile app recommendations to be honest. Yeah. Uh, like Evernote, you use that uh, or. So, I mean, we use Google drive and Dropbox for yeah. files and stuff. Okay. Yeah. So those pretty standard apps, I think. For most people, um, oh well, we use Slack, so that's right. like a business a business chat um, app that that's actually free, and it does have a lot of cool features like sending files and stuff and group chats. But it's it's just nice to have your business conversations like separated out from your personal iMessage or whatever you're using on the personal side. To just have that separation, I think is really um, so I business. Reckon. Slack is like your business instant message, right? That's what you use for correct. Okay. Got yeah, it. correct. Keeps everybody on the same page. You have departments mm -hmm. built into Slack, or do you just have like one chat where everybody sees everything? Oh, there's so many different types of chats. Okay. All yeah, right. we uh, we even get like notifications when somebody signs up for like the enterprise plan. We all see that. Um, we uh, we have this. Um, think this app called ask nicely that automatically asks our customers like on a scale of one to 10, how much would you rank? How much would you want to recommend deal machine to somebody? And if they give a low, lower score, like we can see that in Slack and then we can jump in right there and just um, reach out to that customer to see if we can help them. Oh, that's great. So that, yeah. They're always surprised. I think when we respond right away, because surveys so often just like go into the cloud and you never see them ever again. You know, another thing that keeps coming back as a theme for you is speed. And I think it's really uh, awesome, man, that it started that way as you wanted real time and, and faster. And, mm -hmm. and throughout the whole point, part of your business, you're always interested in, in a faster response and a faster success for your clients and the faster feedback on how you can get better. It's a cool thing, man. Cool, cool thing that you have in your business. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for noticing that. Yeah. Do you get eight hours of sleep at night? Yes. Yeah, I, I could say that. That's awesome. Do you have a morning routine? Um, so I actually have been working with a personal trainer mainly to hold me accountable and like basically I'm, you know, I'm prepaying for it. So I'm like financially punished if I don't show up. Right, and right. so, yeah, so I, I like to work out three, I do work three times a week with him. It's at seven o'clock. Um, and then I come home and I cook uh, breakfast and then I shower and then I get to work. So nothing too crazy with the morning routine, but I think having that on my schedule makes me go to bed on time and then, uh, you know, make sure I'm getting all that sleep I need. So it, it's, it's just, I do well with structure and that's what helps. Uh, what, uh, you know, it's cool. You said structure, you know, people say structure limits them, 
I say structure mm-hmm. sets you free. You know, yeah. get the whole mindset part of, uh, you know, you have to rethink things uh, in order to take, get to another level. If you get to a certain point and you can't get past it, maybe it's because your thinking won't allow you to. Let me say that again, because that's really, really powerful. If you get to a certain level and you can't get past it, maybe it's because you need to change your thinking. Mm-hmm. Right. So um, that's awesome, man, that, um, you know, that, that you're already being proactive on, uh, you know, and that uh, your health is important and sleep's important. And for entrepreneurs, man, I know it's like we sleep when we're dead, right? So it's cool that you're changing that. What yeah, are you most, absolutely. What are you most grateful for, David? Oh, man, I have so much to be thankful for. I, um, uh, I mean, obviously I'm just, the first thing that's coming to mind is, you know, I'm thankful for everyone who's like, you know, trusting us to help them find properties and they're trusting us when they make a choice to use deal machine. It's like, they're, they're trusting us to always keep making it better because they're, they're not going to keep looking for other solutions. Like they're going to, you know, stick with us. So that means a whole lot to me that they give us that trust and commitment. I'm, I'm super thankful for that. And, um, while we got Elise in the room, you know, Elise was the first full-time hire we hired that wasn't like a friend. Um, she was like a personal referral, but um, she, she really just like, uh, neither one of us knew what a customer success person should do. I, I had a mentor that had some trainings. And so he's like, you need to look for these personality traits. Uh, and so Elise had those and she just like shined so much. Um, and, and she learned what the job was after we hired her and um, really made it her own. And her, her goal now is to speak at a TED talk about customer success um, because she's like really made a huge impact with our business and, and reduced the number of people that were canceling by like over 30% Jeez. in a short period of time. Way to go, Elise. Yeah, so I, I gotta say I'm thankful for Elise. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, Elise. That's Whee! awesome. Way to go. That's awesome, man. That's cool. Um, what point would you recommend hiring a coach or mentor? You, you, you said you worked with one really from e What point would yeah. you recommend someone doing that in their, in their business? You know, I, so I, I've hired, like, I, I've always been into personal development. And so I've hired um, a coach or bought courses on, on things previously in my life that have really paid off. And I think it, it can really accelerate your path uh, I, nothing like crazy, like $30,000, like you hear in real estate, but you know, I bought courses for like two, $500 in that range. Um, and it, it really paid off. I think, I think, you know, you said in order to change your life, you've got to change your thinking. And the best way to do that is to learn from somebody who's been there, done that and has laid out in a very organized way, step by step of what you need to do. And, and so I think it's definitely a personal choice. But if you feel strongly that you want to accomplish something, I think it's a it's it can be a really good choice because you're gonna um, you're gonna learn what you're trying to do faster. In my experience, awesome. If you had to summarize it, why do you do what you do? What what gets you up in the morning, man? Oh man, um, well it's a real exciting time because we're just helping new people every day. Um, I think what's so so cool about Deal Machine is everybody who is using it is also trying to improve their lives and improve their business. So me just being like very into personal development, it's like the coolest thing in the world now because everybody that I'm interacting with and getting to help is also trying to improve their lives. Um, you know, it's not like, it's not like you're dealing with, you know, someone at the checkout at Walmart where, you know, you have no idea like that, you know, they, they could be trying to steal or they could be, you know, just, I don't know. The, it's it's just like a way different relationship that that's so transactional, but I feel like at deal machine, it's personal because everyone's trying to get better and we get to help them do that. Beautiful answer, man. Beautiful. So at this point, man, I want to have ways that we can serve you. You've done a great job telling us about how important deal machine is as a tool to help better investors lives, to help them reach their goals. And really along the journey, uh, you having a great time building this amazing company that is, uh, making an impact and you serving your clients in a, in a, in a big way is something I resonate with, uh, in a, in a big way as well. What's the way that we can serve you? You mentioned, um, before we got on this interview that 
um, there is a, a normal pricing for a deal machine and that uh, you were going to give some credits. Um, I would, was it $40 or something like that? But yeah. what, what can we, how can we serve you, people listening right now? They want to use Deal Machine, uh, but they don't really know the pricing on it. They don't know, you know, if it's going to. So can you, can you speak to that a little bit? Yeah. So we've, we've got a 14-day free trial. And um, you can actually send mail during that trial. We, we give you 40 credits if they're going to go um, decide to use it with your link. Um, for listening to this podcast. Um, so that, that's the best way to try that out. The, the pricing is normally $49 a month. So if you guys decide you want to become full members after that trial, it is $49 a month. Um, and then the mail typically costs 99 cents. So we're going to give you $40 of credit. Um, plus, uh, I think you get a few extra ones just for signing up. So uh, definitely just like try it out, send yourself a postcard. And um, you, you know, add 200 properties as fast as you can. And you may even get that first deal during the trial. Uh, but I mean, any, the biggest thing that you guys could do for, for me, thank you for asking is just to share it if you like it. So if you, if you really like deal machine or it's helped you out, the biggest, you know, thing that, that we can do is uh, say thanks um, for, for telling someone else. And we've actually built it. So you get your own, um, you know, like promo code. So you can actually get rewarded for sharing it too within your app it's under get free leads is what the, the button reads in there. Awesome. Awesome. Well, the way that they can get the $40 credit um, is go to use deal machine, use deal machine. Very simple. We'll say it one more time, use deal machine.com. And my promo code that David gave me is Corey C O R Y. So I greatly appreciate you can get $40 credit. Um, mm -hmm. and thank you for clarifying that, David. And I highly recommend, uh, that you support David. Uh, we're excited about deal machine. Uh, we've talked about it at collected genius and, uh, there's some other aspects of things that for time's sake that we haven't went into, but there's a team aspect of this where you can create bird dogs. Um, and, and they can use this app, uh, for people just driving around. I mean, Uber drivers, uh, you could essentially uh, create this whole team. And uh, that's one thing we're going to be looking at uh, on a, on a big in a big way for for Deal Machine. So yeah, David, absolutely. Thank you so much, man, for for taking the time to be on here. I know we just met, but I am I have a I have a, I have a feeling we're going to be talking a lot more. And I'm excited to to encourage you and uh, Elise on your journey and your whole team on uh, building this amazing SaaS company and really building a company that is for the success to help investors uh, reach results faster, which is, uh, I, I think, the theme with Deal Machine. So, uh, and that rhymed, didn't it? A theme with Deal Machine. It did. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I like that. All right, yeah, well, exactly. um, any last words before we, uh, before we get you off here? No, I just uh, wanna encourage everybody out there who's you know trying to do their first deal, um, would love to be a resource. We've also got a Facebook group uh, that you can, you know, go answer questions in and stuff like that. So we, we want to welcome you to the deal machine family. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks again, David, for taking the time. Elise, thank you too. Appreciate you. Thanks, and, uh, yeah. And uh, I appreciate everyone uh, listening as always. We're going to bring amazing guests just like David on here to help you in your journey for success for real estate and your life. So tell them, remember, be a servant. Bye, David. Bye, Elise. Thank you, Corey. Bye-bye. Bye. Hi, this is Corey Boatwright, and I have a quick question for you. What is the fastest way to reach your goals? Is it to work harder, work smarter, use system and processes, or hire rock star employees? What about just making more money? You know, actually, it's none of that. Those things are a byproduct of the one success component that every real estate investor or business owner that I know all have in common. And the answer is clarity. Complete laser focus on what you want, why you want it, and what are you willing to do to get it. So where do you find clarity? By hiring a coach and mentor. Now, could you reach the level of success that you want to achieve by doing this all on your own? You know, the Lone Ranger. Well, maybe, but do you think it would take you double or even triple the time to achieve it compared to hiring a coach and mentor to help guide your path, 
provide proven instruction with a tailored blueprint that you could follow for building a real estate business that supports your lifestyle and helps you reach your financial and personal goals? Absolutely. Here's the fact. Time isn't recyclable. So I would like to ask you to make good use of it and extend a personal invitation for you to book a phone coaching strategy session by going to callwithcory.com. That's callwithcory, Corey spelled C-O-R-Y, dot com. I'm going to ask you a few quick questions on that page, and we're going to go over and see how we can make sure that your business is on path to reach the goals that you want this year. So go to callwithcory.com, that's C-O-R-Y, and book your phone coaching strategy session today. Remember, be a servant, and I'll see you on there. You've been listening to another Real Estate Investing Profits Master Podcast Series. To receive your free real estate book, Down and Dirty, Ultimate Real Estate Investing Quick Start Guide, How to Quit Your Job to Start Flipping Houses in 90 Days or Less, head online and go to realestateinvestingprofits.com. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash realestateinvestingprofits. Thanks again for listening and stay tuned for our next episode.